What is up YouTube? It is CS back here with another installment and here is another top five of who I think should be cut in the UFC. This is for the month of August 2011. So yeah guys, basically I'm going to do this on whatever cards happened this month. You know what I'm saying? And for me this is really easy to look at. All you have to do is take a look at uh, UFC on versus five and there's five guys there that I can pick out and that's what I'm going to do. So let's take a look at who we got there. All right, now starting off, we got this guy on the list. His name is Jason Reinhardt. This is an easy one. This guy fought Joe Lozon back in the day. He lost to Joe Lozon. He fought Tequan Zhang recently. Lost to him. He fought, he fought Edwin Figueroa at UFC on versus five. Lost to him. Lightweight, featherweight, bantamweight. This guy can't win anywhere in the UFC against you know mid tier guys at best. You know. In Joe Lozon, Tiqua Zhang, and Edwin Figueroa. Can't beat any of them in those weight classes. This guy's been out grappling, you know, white belts his whole career in the regional circuit where he's at. And he's just, you know, hasn't fought at a good level ever. And when they do bring him up to the UFC, he gets wrecked because he's not used to fighting good competition. It just makes sense. You know, his grappling, it's alright, it's decent. But once he goes up against a better grappler, Joe Lozon, Tiqua Zhang, He's, he got wrecked. You know, what can I say? Um, and that's his strength. And uh, if people like that, you know, better grapplers can beat him and he doesn't offer much else, then he's not that good. And we saw that in the Edwin Figueroa fight. Figueroa basically beat him everywhere. So what can I say? Jason Reinhardt, you've got to go. All right, next guy on the list. This one's easy. Alex Caceres. Yes, Bruce Leroy. You remember him from the GSP cost check Ultimate Fighter season. This guy is horrible. <laughs> what can I say? He's just an average striker. You know, he offers nothing else. He has decent power. You know, he's pretty flashy on the feet. But this guy's never heard of jujitsu. I don't think it's in his vocabulary. Uh, Mac Menes submitted him easily. Then Jim Hedy's got him in round two. Not a good look for this guy. You know, um... Mac Nemenis was coming off three straight losses, and then Jim Hedges, you know, hasn't fought in the UFC ever, and then fights you and you get wrecked in round two. So what can I say? Alex Caceres, you know, not very well-rounded, and he can't maintain the fight on the feet where he's good, and he's not even great at it. So what can I say? Alex Caceres has got to go too. All right, moving on. Next guy, real easy, Carlos Vimola. Wow, this guy's just not a fighter, you know. He's trying to be, but he ain't. You know, you are a six-time national champion wrestler, from what I understand, from the Czech Republic. Why don't you fight your own strengths? Like, instead, you chose to get out-wrestled because you were doing that Fyodor Yemelianenko swinging for defenses bullshit against Honey Marcus. Wasn't feeling that shit. Basically, everything I thought that he shouldn't do, to, you know, in this fight, he did, and that's why he lost. You know, I did pick him to out-wrestle Honey Marcus. Didn't do that. Unfortunate because, you know, for me, uh, this guy has, you know, decent upside in terms of his wrestling. I just don't know why he doesn't want to fight to his strengths. And because of that, you know, he's not, because he's not fighting to his strengths, you know, I think he has to go because he's not going to be successful with that bullshit, you know, not a fan. So what can I say? Carlos Mola has got to go. All right, moving on. Next guy on the list. This one's easy. CB Dalloway, middleweight division. Damn, he's fallen off. That Jared Hammond loss, not a good look. You know, Jared Hammond, of course, coming down from 205 to 185. You know, the weight cut benefited benefited uh, Jared Hammond, I think, for the most part. But I still think CB was a pretty good favorite here. I thought he was going to outgrapple him and, you know, sink in some stupid, like, bulldog choke or something like that. That didn't go down. Jared Hammond eventually got the win. TKO punches round two. You know, CB Dolly just doesn't have a good shin. And if you have the ability to you know, beat him on the feet and keep it standing long enough so you can just tag him, you know, you're in good shape. Look what Mark Munoz did to him. You know, that was pretty much Mark Munoz's, is what, easiest win of his career. Uh, yeah, CB is just, he's a good grappler, good wrestler, but he's not great at either, in my opinion. You know, he has flashy subs, doesn't work for position very well. He just kind of goes for him. And for the most part, if he's going up against a guy with non-existing ground game, that's going to work. But... You know, against the Tom Wallers or Amir Sadala's, it's not going to work. And um, I can only see competition like that being thrown CB Dalloway's way. And 
you know, he's just not going to beat guys like that. So it wouldn't shock me to see him get his third loss in a row in UFC. I'm not sure if they need him for then. So that's why I'm saying C.B. Dalloway should be cut. He's got to go. All right, y'all. Next guy. This one's the easiest. Wow. He has to go so, like, fast. You know, I like him, though. Dan Hardy, you are not UFC material. You know, you are one of the most one-dimensional fighters in the UFC. You know, you go on for takedowns against Chris Lytle. Chris Lytle submitted you in, like, what, 10 seconds as soon as you got that one off in round three? That was just not good, you know. You went for takedowns because you were getting wrecked. You weren't getting wrecked on the feet. You were just losing. And you wanted that to seal the round, and you ended up paying for it, you know. Well, I would have preferred you to just keep, I don't know, pressure him, go forward, you know, not box with him, a kickbox, implement more kicks. You know, you weren't fighting your strengths. Um, you chose to brawl with Chris Lytle, and Chris Lytle's better at it. <laughs> so, uh, Chris Lytle, especially when you're just throwing fists, Chris Lytle's going to beat you with that wily, crazy, you know, haymaker style of his. And for the most part, you were obliging to that war. I don't know why. It's unbelievable how you're being kept. And the reason you are is because, let's be honest, it's because of his nationality. You know, guy's popular over in the UK. And if he was an American citizen, hell no. There, he's obviously cut even after Anthony Johnson you know what I'm saying it's ridiculous you know I don't think it's fair he gets a free pass because he's from the UK I really do believe that so if you know you disagree just let me know no hard feelings or anything it's just that's ridiculous four losses straight it's crazy um how come Joe Stevenson can get cut after four lost straight and you can't and Joe Stevenson's exciting everywhere whether it's the feet the ground you know Joe Stevenson can do it all you know what I'm saying and sure he's looked look like shit over the past four fights but I know he's exciting everywhere you're just exciting one place you know it's just ridiculous I think and I don't know it's just not fair I it really isn't so in my opinion Hardy has to go he just you know he can't even win on the feet right now. You know, he's great. He's good. You know, he's good there. You know, good kickboxer. We saw what Carlos Condit did to him. Carlos Condit, his stock has ro risen up really well, so I really don't take that away from uh, Dan Hardy. But Chris Lytle, you know, this is a fight where it was definitely winnable for you, Dan Hardy, if Chris Lytle was going to fight the way he did. Um, but then Chris Lytle just won. You know, sorry. You know, you got the matchup you wanted, and you lost, you know... Who are you going to get now? It's ridiculous. I think they should just throw him, you know, a Rick Story, someone like that, because he just has to go. I just don't think it's fair. So Dan Hardy, got to go. All right, guys. I guess that about does it for my uh, top five uh, people who I think deserve to be cut video. Basically, pick five dudes from UFC on Versus 5. I really do think deserve to be cut. There's probably some other dudes who uh, deserve to be more cut. But I said UFC, UFC on versus five because I haven't been doing reviews, and you know I guess I kind of did a review and you know a cut video at the same time here. So you know why not? Let's pick some UFC on versus five guys. Who do you like? Honestly, do you guys see CB Dalloway beating anyone? They pair him up against a middleweight, unless it's a newcomer. Like I'm trying to think of guys off the top of my head. I can't. Um, Jason Reinhardt pretty much loses to anyone in bantamweight. Bamola, the way he fights. You know, any light heavyweight they pair him up against that I can think of should wreck him. Um, Dan Hardy is obvious. Alex Casares is obvious. I don't know. I think they're pretty obvious in my opinion. So tell me what you guys think of my uh, picks in the comment section below. Please uh, rate, you know, thumbs up or thumbs down if you agree or disagree with my picks. And yeah, I guess that about does for me. So thank you for all the support. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook, Tumblr, Twitter if you guys got that shit. And I guess that about does it for me. So... Take care.